welcome to MechWarrior Online. This is Fuzzy Nova, and tonight we got something a little bit different. We've got the HBK Hunchback 2C Death Wish. The Hunchback 2C Death Wish. Uh, pretty uh, cool little mech here. Um, Hunchback 2Cs are great mechs, anyways. Um, and so when you add a little hero mech into there, it uh, kind of uh, amps things up a little bit. What's so different about the Death Wish? Why is this different than all the other Hunchback 2Cs? Well, that was a question that I asked myself and I've been trying to figure out. Um, it's a great mech, it is. But there are some things with it that I don't understand, and we'll talk about that here in a second. But let's take a look at the 2C. This is the only Hunchback 2C that doesn't have, well, the only ballistic hunchback you see that doesn't have both ballistic hunches on the top. You see it has one, and then the other side is an energy hard point. Um, now, um, it comes with its own custom paint job, which is pretty cool. These aren't the original colors, and that really doesn't matter. Let's take a look at the build. Um, so the hunchback uh, death wish comes, comes with one ballistic, five energy, and one AMS. Um, that may not seem like... Uh, because I know some of the other Hunchbacks, I think the Hunchback 2C A variant, I think, comes with two two ballistic and four energy. So this is the only Hunchback 2C with five energy, and um, even though it has one ballistic, that's it's fine. Um, it's it's still a really good mech either way. Um, just lacking on the ballistic part a little bit. Because if they did put two ballistics, it would be very similar to the other Hunchback 2Cs. Anyways, uh, the mech came with, this is not what the mech came with at all. I'll tell you what the mech came with. The mech came with a Clan Ultra AC-20 in the right torso. It came with an ERPPC in the left torso. And then it came with four Clan ER medium lasers. Uh, the Death Wish does not come with Jump Jets, which is something that I was thrown off about. Um, Hunchback 2Cs are great with Jump Jets. I like having Jump Jets on them. But for some reason, the Death Wish didn't come with it. Um, being a hero mech, I don't know why, but um, there's that. Yeah, it didn't come with any. But let's talk about the build that we got. Uh, so far, this build has worked best for me. Um, I took off the Clan ER PPC. Um, I wasn't really feeling it. I'm not a PPC kind of pilot. I mean, sometimes I'll use them, but I try not to. Uh, I mean, they have a great range and everything, but I don't know what it is about them. A lot of people love PPCs, and I just really don't care for them. Maybe I'll grow into it or something. Alright, so our build is one Clan Ultra AC-10 in our right torso. I took off the 20 out of the 10. Uh, 10s are good. 20s are okay. 20s are alright. But we added the uh, Clan Ultra AC-10. I took off the Clan ER PPC, and I added in its place basically two Clan ER large lasers. You can only fit one energy in this left torso. I wish you could fit two, but you can't. Um, so you're going to have that one Clint ER large laser up on that left torso. So these two weapons are pretty high up here. Then I have another Clint ER large laser in my right arm. Now the arms are kind of low, which is the only downside to this. And then the other three are the Clan ER medium lasers, which two of them are in the left arm, and the other one is with the Clan ER large laser in the right arm. Um, it comes with AMS, so I decided to add Clan Laser AMS because I like Laser AMS better than regular AMS. It protects you pretty well. It's pretty, um, it's a pretty good system right there. Uh, as for upgrades, it has double heat sinks and endo steel. So we're working with those. Not going to worry about feral fibers armor or anything. Comes with the Clan XL200, just like all the other Hunchback 2Cs. And, uh, I have, uh, I had to up the armor points. It didn't come. Um, it doesn't come with the armor um, maxed or anything. And my armor isn't maxed right now. There's still some points, uh, especially in my legs. I've got um, a lot of points in my legs that I could add to it. But honestly, so far my legs have not been getting taken out. It's mostly my torsos that have been getting taken out really quick. Um, my left torso, my right torso. Your arms can get taken off pretty quick too. And the arms only hardly came with any armor. Um, so I had to up that quite a bit. 50 points in my CT is a good amount. 36 in my torsos, and I tried to put almost 30 in my arms. We really had to up that armor. Um, it was kind of on the weakish side. 
but uh, um, I think that is about it for the build. I have eight clan double heat sinks. Um, this build will heat up if you're not careful, and I've been heating up quite a bit. Um, I've only got two tons of clan uh, UAC 10 ammo. I want more, but I really need to keep my heat sinks. Um, and I kind of want both of my clan near. I really don't want to lose any weapons here. Um, I could do without the AMS, but honestly, that's only one ton, and that one ton is definitely worth it. So really, the two tons is going to have to do. It's not that many shots, but um, the other weapons will compensate for that. So, I think that's it for the Death Wish. It's um, the build that it came with. I might run it. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to run my build for a few matches. Um... I could run the stock build. I could put all the weapons back on it. It's just not. I might do it. We'll see if I have time. It is kind of late. I am kind of late in putting out my video. Uh, it's kind of late Friday night. Hell, actually, it's Saturday morning, very early. But the mech does have a unique look with its um, one ballistic hunch, and the other side doesn't have it. Um, but yeah. Let's go ahead and get into a match, and this is the Death Wish. See you on the battlefield. Alright, we are dropping into Grim Plexus with the Death Wish. Hunchback 2C Death Wish. Uh, we are working with one clan Ultra AC 10, two clan ER large lasers, three clan ER medium lasers, and clan laser AMS. We all know what the Hunchback 2C cockpit looks like, and um, got a pretty, pretty good view out of my left side too without that hunch there. So you're going to have that extra openness um, on your left. And this is, it really is the only, <coughs> the only um, Hunchback 2C with one hunch. Bipolar disorder. Must be. And it's time to get into the Christmas spirit. I've got my Santa Claus bobblehead. They've got that... Oh, crap. Why did he do that? I tried to move it out of the way, but he walked right into that. <laughs> oh, there he goes. He just shot me in the back. Well, I guess we're even now. Um, but yeah, no jump jets, and um, <clears throat> that's kind of odd to me. Yeah, I I'm not really sure why they didn't add jump jets on the the hero mech, but um, yeah, whatever. I also hate River City. Target acquired. New target acquired. I'm just no good in the city. Like now, <clears throat> I'm not going to do the stock video tonight, because we're going to do two matches here, um, and that's enough for one video, um, but I might do the stock video for this mech tomorrow, so there might be two videos on this mech, because um, the, um, well, how long is that guy's laser duration? Holy crap. Yeah, I'm just, uh... We're gonna sit back there forever. We might as well just wait it out until they come out. Oh, I was saying the stock... The stock uh, loadout is actually not bad. Um, it's kind of it's kind of neat. It's a um, Clan Ultra AC-20 with a Clan ER PPC and four Clan ER medium lasers. Um... And the only downside to this is, yeah, I have my Clan Ultra AC-10 up high, and I also have that Clan ER Large Laser up high, but all the other weapons are in my arms, and they're a lot lower than than normal. A hell of a lot lower. Hotel 5. 
Also, the armor that came with this was pretty low. So you're going to um, have to have some extra space to up your armor. Um, oh, and the... This build can heat up, especially when it gets into like mid battle, when you're firing your weapons simultaneously. Um, and as we looked before, um, there was with this with this build, there's really no. You gotta sacrifice something if you want some more heat sinks, basically. Dang, they are coming around quick. This yeah, Wolfhound needs to go. Gotta go. Yeah. Alright, we just destroyed that we found. And we've got the enemy flanking us. destroyed your little cicada oh dang it look how much it leans I've noticed that the hunchback 2c like leans so far forward when you overheat or you power down a little hunchback I think we have enough guys to take these guys right here um Target acquired. New target acquired. The enemy has started to chip Eat away at us. Critical. Dang it. It's my second time. In the heat of battle. My weapon groups are jacked. I hit something. Well, critical uh, damage. Yeah, been jag. There we go. We popped him good. I guess I'll keep my weapon groups like this. I hit a button and it switched all my weapon groups around. Well, it switched my clan Ultra AC 10s with my ER large lasers. And, um. New target yeah, there we go. I think I got it now. Yeah. We're up down. Don't let the hostiles take down any more of you. All in all, I mean, the Death Wish, it's a, it's a good mech. If, if you like Hunchback 2Cs, um, it's a little bit different. It's got a little bit, a little bit of a different feel to it. New target acquired. You're Raven. Ow. That did not feel good. critical damage. New target acquired. Heat level critical. New hostiles are remaining. Crush the cowards. Heat level critical. Target destroyed. There we go. We just took the crab out. New target acquired. Oh, this dire wolf is not looking friendly. Oh, he just took all my weapons out. Yep, I am done. At least we got uh, three kills. That's not bad. Three kills and five assists. This um, mech can uh, definitely dish some some shit out. That's for sure. So yeah, we basically won this match. That Darwin faces down. Pretty good match. Uh, other than the overheating, which is something you know, you just need more double heat sinks. And I'm just um, selfish, I guess. 399, 3 kills, 6, six assists. 399, 
and 360,000 C bills is a pretty good earning. But yeah, let's go into the next match. Hopefully, it's a good map. And we are on Forest Colony. I don't mind Forest Colony. And I really don't mind Grim Plexus either. Grim Plexus isn't one of my favorite maps. I mean, I could do without it. But, um... My favorite map never comes up. Canyon Network, I rarely get that. And everyone likes HPG, but... Canyon Network is one of my all-time favorite maps. Caustic Valley is a good map, too. I kind of miss the old caustic map, but, um, oh, thanks, dude, thanks for, I'm already damaged, but yeah, oh, a map that I hate, I don't think I've talked about it yet, but I do not like Rubalite Oasis, I don't ever want to play that map again. Alright. Last time we were on this map, we were in the Kodiak 5. Oh well, it's super late. It's like 3 a.m. in the morning. It kind of bothers me that there's no jump jets on this. I don't get it. And also, you really, you really can't go by what the picture of the hero mech looks like on the website because the picture of this mech, the picture, the picture, excuse me, the, <laughs> the picture of the Hunchback 2C Death Wish on the website made it look like a freaking energy boat. New target. Like in the picture it's got like freaking like 10 or 11 energy hard points. And I was like holy crap. New target acquired. It looked like the hunch uh, back 2CB variant in the picture. Target acquired. Alright, so where are these guys at? Yeah, they must, uh... New target acquired. I'll tell you, though, I really... I mean, the Hunchback 2C... New target acquired. It's... I think probably one of the best medium mechs there are. It, it, it's damn close to it. Um... It takes a lot of the other medium mechs, especially a lot of the inner sphere ones, and kind of just puts them to shame. Alright, what do we get? This is just a cluster. Cl this is just hell. Everyone clustered together like this. I'm trying not to get any team damage here. Yeah, so let me, uh, a note for that, this, this build does heat up. So maybe some more heat sinks, and we'll have to figure that out. We might have to drop some, um, drop some of the weapons, maybe drop one of the ER large lasers. That might be, um something we could do New
That is twice. Usually I don't have a problem with overheating, um, but certain builds that I make I just don't really. Either I don't put enough heat sinks in or something like that. What is going on here? Alright, we just took out that dire wolf. Oh, I'm taking a, I'm taking slams there. I need to be careful. Let's just push in. I mean, if I'm, I just this heat is really kicking my ass here. And I, I think I have like eight. I have eight double heat sinks. me by how many times I overheat, okay? Just don't. Don't do it. <laughs> Damn mad cat. New target acquired. Alright. Let's go get this mad cat here. I know he's sitting there waiting. Yeah, I popped him. His CT was just done for anyways. We put a lot of that damage on him. Target acquired. This assassin. Put it up. Put it up. Dang, yep, we got the assassin. That is another three kills. We did overheat uh, quite a few times, um, and that's something that I need to take in for this um, build here. Yeah, three kills, seven assists, 312 damage. About the same as last match, almost. Um, but that overheating is something we really need to work on. So we will take that in in our little notes there. But guys, thanks for watching. I think I'll do the stock video tomorrow, but you guys have a good rest of your um, weekend, and I'll see you very soon. Fuzzy Nova, out. Yeah.